Hello folks, do you remember this cow, cow number 53? We had to peel away the hoof to reveal the issue. So let's get a look at this issue and see is there any difference. For those of you who maybe don't remember this cow or are new to the channel and didn't see her first trim, here's a little look back at how this hoof looked the first time we seen it. As you can see this hoof is pretty rough up around the edges up here. There's obviously a double sole here. We're going to find something in here. Potentially a white line defect which we can see the top of here. We may see something more in and around here in the sole area. But I'm going to start stripping this back to identify the issue. I think a wooden wedge block will be perfect for this cow. Stay still for just 10 seconds. I am going to probably wrap this just to stop the, the pressures of dermatitis getting into it because if it was to get into it, it may even be there. I'll know, that, I'll know now when I wash it out, but there's just a tiny little close up of the little small fracture that caused this whole issue. That's another little cow made comfortable. So that was then, and this is now. She still has the block on, so let's get this trimmed down. She's walking lovely on this. So hopefully, when we trim this down, we we'll see a nice, healthy sole. So it's exactly a month from I was with this cow before. Um, so I'm hoping, the way she was walking there, she was walking lovely, but we had to peel away the last time, as you've seen in that little, up, or little, as you've seen there in that little clip of how she was before. There was a little sole fracture here that was causing her the issue. We had to peel away a large amount of the hoof and the little sole fracture was here. We did wrap it to keep the bacteria out or stop any more bacteria from getting in. So I'm hoping that it has done the job. This hoof is incredibly hard for some reason or other. Sometimes different cows' hooves have different hardness, but definitely notice in this one, it's pretty tough. And isn't it amazing the difference that hoof trimmers all across the world can make to these cows' lives? If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, folks, you can hit it now and be ready to join us for the 12 hooves of Christmas which is starting on the 15th of December. Seasonal hoof care like you never seen it before. Not just any hoof care, it's tech professional hoof care. And the final part of this recheck is just squaring off this wooden block. Sometimes when cows are walking on these wooden blocks for a number of weeks, they can wear them at an unusual angle. But we want to let her out of the crush, walking with the perfect balance. I'm just trimming out this sidewall a little bit so no more dirt or debris or anything gets caught in here. But it all gets out, but this here has little fracture. As tiny as it was, it has been quite stubborn. 
to remove and the aquarium has closed over nicely we're right down at it there but I don't want to aggravate it any further but I'm just trimming out this there's a little bit of loose horn here but all is looking pretty healthy and as I said there it's closed over so the hoof capsule is not open to bacteria or infection anymore and I'm pretty glad we wrapped this because had we not have bandaged this I definitely think this cow would, would be presenting lame again today because as tiny as that little sole fracture was it's still you can still see where it was a month later so if there had been any dermatitis got into this um, it definitely would have just halted the healing process I, I don't want to dig any more into that because it's just newly formed but I'm going to give you a little close up now and see how the cap shot or the hoof little sole fracture has healed up and closed over and we just set the conditions right for this and the cow take the weight off it and trim this appropriately and put the proper topical treatment on it to set the conditions right for the healing to happen and it's really great this has happened so just to give you a little close up there is that little fracture completely closed over I don't want to dig any more into that there's no need but that is nice and healthy and just ready to strengthen and this little bit of the block that's left will allow the last little bit of strengthening of this hoof to happen now by the time this is wore away Probably in another three to four weeks, this hoof will have grew out here around the side wall and it'll be stronger and it'll be able to manage without this block. There's a little bit of open skin here. There's no digi there, but it is a little bit susceptible to it um, in the future weeks and months. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Ripiderm on this, which is just going to, it's a skin protection spray with chelated copper and zinc. So it's just going to protect the skin. Uh, protect the skin and stop any bacteria from latching on. Plus it's green and it matches the colour of the KVK and my gloves and the bandages and even my underwear but don't worry it's not going to be on camera today. Let's get this guy out of the crush, see how she's walking and wish her a very happy Christmas. I know Tom and I say this a lot, but that's so satisfying to see the difference that we can make. Take care folks, see you all tomorrow.